Hai, Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. The topic that we are going to learn today is scientific skills which is in unit 1. Okay, there are two skills that we will learn in this topic. The first one is science process skills and the other one is manipulative skills. In science process skills, there are all together six skills that you have to master. There are observing, classifying, measuring and using numbers, making inference, predicting and communicating. If all of you still remember some of the skills you have already learned in year 1 and year 2. The skills that you have already learned are observing, classifying, measuring and using numbers, and also communicating. But you need you still need to do some revisions on all the skills. So now, we will learn observing skills. What is observing? Do you still remember? Okay, observing is a skill that uses all of our senses to obtain information about an object or a phenomenon. Okay, do you still remember what senses that we use to observe? Let's revise about senses that you have already learned in year one and year two. Okay, kita cuba ingat semula deria-deria yang kamu dah pernah belajar semasa di tahun 1 dan juga tahun 2. What are the senses used to observe? Okay, the first one, sense of touch, sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of taste, and sense of hearing. Okay, there are five, altogether five senses that you have to remember. Next, okay, the sensory organs involved are eyes, ears, tongue, skin, and nose. Okay, let's read this together. I see with my eyes. Okay, again. I see with my eyes. I hear with my ears. I hear with my ears. I taste with my tongue. I taste with my tongue. I touch with my skin. I touch with my skin. I smell with my nose. I smell with my nose. Okay, now, uh, all of you follow me to do the actions. Okay, we start. I see with my eyes. I hear with my ears. I this with my tongue. 
I touch with my skin. I smell with my nose. Okay, let's do this again. Ready? I see with my eyes. I hear with my ears. I taste with my tongue. I touch with my skin. I smell with my nose. Okay. Okay, for further explanation, let's watch this video. Do you know how scientists study things? Do you know how scientists study things? They make use of what we call process skills. Process skills are different ways on how to study objects. Today we are going to learn one process skill. I have here an object. If I ask you to observe the object, what will you do? What does observing mean? Observing means describing things using the senses. What are our senses? Let us recall. We use our eyes to see, our skin to touch and feel, our nose to smell, our ears to hear, and our tongue to taste. Now let's start observing the object using our eyes. We see that the object is brown. We can also see that the object is shiny, and its color is silver. Now let's use our skin to touch and feel. Now let's use our skin to touch and feel. I can feel that the object is smooth. And when I press the object, I and when I press the object, I feel that it is hard. Now let's use our sense of smell. Now let's use our sense of smell. Mm. I think it's made of metal, therefore it has a metallic smell. Now let's use our ears. Hear something from the object. Now let's use our ears. Therefore, hear something from the object. Oh, therefore. It has no sound. But if I tap the object, it produces sound. But therefore, if I tap the object, the object it produces sound. So object. therefore, when the object is hit with another object, How about it produces sound. How about our tongue? Do you think it's safe, to taste, no. think it's safe to taste the object? No. Therefore, there are some things not now be observed using the sense of taste. The round, now we have a lot of silver. observations. The object is round, and shiny, and silver. It is also smooth and hard and has a metallic smell. It doesn't have any sound, but when you hit it with another object, it has sound. We didn't use our sense of taste. Now what we just did is what we call observing. It is a process skill. Which scientists used to study objects. Hanging. Now open your textbook, page one, or you can see here. Okay, Aisha, Kina, Lim, and Langi are eating at Pat Mat stall. Okay, Aisha said. This banana fritter smells really nice. It's sweet too. That ice grating machine is making a sound. This chandel is really cold. It's colorful too. Okay, the question is, describe the observations made by Aisha, Kina, Lim and Langi at Pak Mat's stall. Ok, 
Okey, apa yang disuruh uh, kita terangkan di sini ialah apa pemerhatian yang dibuat oleh Aisyah, Kina, Lim dan Langi. Okey, dia suruh kita terangkan apa pemerhatian yang telah dibuat. Okey, jadi kita lihat one by one. Okay. Tadi Aisyah ada sebut pasal uh, pisang goreng ni smells really nice. So, Aisyah use sense of smell. Okay, kemudian Kina ada cakap it's sweet too. Rasa manis. So, Kina use sense of taste Okay and then uh, Langi This chandel is really cold Sejuk So Langi use sense of touch Dia ada cakap juga It's colourful too Berwarna-warni So Langi use sense of sight. Kemudian Lim. Okay, Lim ada sebut pasal uh, machine tu is making a sound. So, Lim used sense of hearing. So, we can make observations Using all of this sense, menggunakan semua deria. Okay, untuk membuat pemerhatian, satu objek kita boleh gunakan semua deria ini. Now, let's see what are the characteristics you should know for each sense. Sense of touch, you can feel hot or cold, rough or smooth, hard or soft. Okay, maksudnya, deria sentuhan ni, kita boleh rasa benda tu panas ke, sejuk, keras ataupun lembut. Okay, next. Sense of sight. You should know about color and shape, sense of smell, you should know about good or bad smell. Okay, next, sense of taste, our tongue can taste sweet, sour, salty. Bitter or tasteless means that okay, lidah kita boleh rasa makanan tu manis ke, masam, masin ataupun tiada rasa. Okay, the last one, sense of smell. Okay, some object or some things they produce sound, and some object do not produce sound. Okay. So to conclude our today's lesson, uh, our today's lesson, okay, observation is using the senses to gather information. Kemahiran membuat pemahatan ni menggunakan uh, deria-deria untuk mengumpul maklumat. Okay, kita recall semula. Apa deria-deria tadi yang dah disebut? There are all together five senses. Okay, ada five semuanya. Sense of a sight. Okay, using our eyes. Deria penglihatan. Menggunakan mata. The second one. Sense of hearing. Deria pendengaran. Menggunakan telinga. Okay, using our ears. Sense of touch, 
using our skin, okay, the real sentuhan menggunakan kulit, sense of smell, the real bau menggunakan hidung, and the last one, sense of uh, taste, the real rasa menggunakan lidah. Okay, so I hope all of you understand our today's lesson about observing skill. How to make observation using all of these five senses. Okay, so class, this is the exercise for today. Lesson 1. Observing. The instruction is, look at the pictures, write observations according to the sense involved. Okay, here ialah gambar uh, durian. And then you must complete this table of observations. I have also uploaded this exercise in uh, Google Classroom. You can answer it there and turn in to me. After that, I want you to print it and paste it in your exercise book. But for uh, some of you, if you do not have printer, you can copy the exercise in your exercise book. Means you need to write the day, the date, the instruction, draw the picture, and also this table. Then you must complete the exercise. Okay? That's all for today. We will meet again in our next lesson. Thank you. Stay safe and goodbye.